It's an interesting space to examine ideas, I think, when you take it outside of reality into this sort of illusionary or hyper-real space. I've always tried to build sculptural elements into the photographs. I'll surround the people or the objects by a lot of space, so one could enter the works and circulate them as you would a sculpture. Petrina's work can be seen as almost a vision of a utopian perfection. But when you look closer at her images, little ruptures appear. So there might be a slight bruise on the otherwise perfect skin or a bit of hair out of place. And she really plays with the tension between that perfection and those little points of uneasiness. Quite often I look at mythology and ancient history and the representation of women throughout art history. Whilst I'm drawing upon the past, I think it's presented in this contemporary time and climate, so people bring their own interpretation to these myths. In her work, women are given an inner life, a sense of subjectivity, a sense of privacy that is often missing from images of women throughout history. It's an amazing experience being a muse to someone so talented. To see myself portrayed in a beautiful artistic way, um, it makes me so happy. <laughs> but just looking at them, I think beauty really stands out for me and being perceived as a sculpture. What Petrina is really trying to get out of her images is not a portrait of a person or an animal, but a feeling. She's always trying to get towards an indescribable emotion, very rich with duality and ambiguity. There's always more than one way to interpret each of her works. Thank you.